Welcome to my channel Engineer Adnan Rashid. Dear friends, I have started a new series of lectures that is based on solving problems from mechanics of materials. I hope you will enjoy this video. So kindly watch, subscribe and like my videos. Thank you. Okay, let's start with problem 1.2. Uh, the statement of the problem is that two solid cylinders, uh, cylinder rod A, B and B, C are welded together at B and loaded as shown. So this is rod A, B and this is rod B, C and they are welded together at this point B. This is shown in figure. The diameter of this rod A, B, D1 which is given as 50 millimeter and the diameter of this rod D2 which is given as 30 millimeters. So here you will have to find the average normal, uh, normal stresses at mid section of A rod AB and BC. So you have to find the average stress, normal stress, which is sigma AB over here and sigma BC over here. So given data is that given data you have given the diameter of rod AB which is D1 and that is equal to 50 millimeter and uh, for rod AB and similarly D2 which is the diameter of rod BC and that is 30 millimeter for rod BC you have to find the average normal stress at mid section of rod AB which is sigma AB and average normal stress at mid section of rod BC. So let's start with the solution of this problem. So first we will solve you can take any rod either AB or BC whichever you want. So I will start from rod first for rod AB so as you see, you can see that uh, the rod AB is subjected to the total load of 40 kN and 30 kN so total load acting on this rod AB is sum of this force 40 kN and 30 kN so total load P will be equal to 40 plus 30 kN that will be 70 kilo newton of load acting on rod AB. So now we have to find sigma AB which is equal to PAB over area of AB. So first we will have to find we have PAB and we have to find area of AB which is equal to pi by 4 d1 square and you if you put the value of d1 that is pi by 4 d1 is 50 mm so 50 square that will give you 1.963 into 10 raised to power 3 minus uh, 10 raised to power 3 millimeter square so AB if you reduce it so area of this rod AB will come to 1.963 into 10 raised to power minus 3 millimeter uh, sorry uh, that is millimeter that will be 10 raised to power minus 3 meter square because this is 10 raised to power 3 and millimeter is 10 raised to power millimeter square when this will convert it that will multiply by 10 raised to power minus 6 so it will give you 1.963 to 10 raised to power minus 3 meter square square meter so now we we can find sigma ab mid at mid section uh, so that will be pab divided by area of ab so pab is 70 kilonewton so 17 to 10 raised to power 3 divided by area 
1.963 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter so it is newton and it is millimeter me, uh, sorry meter square so that will give you 35.7 into 10 raised to power 6 newton per meter square which is equal to sigma ab which will be equal to 335.7 mega this newton per meter square will be pascal so it will be 35.7 mega pascal so now we will solve for for rod b which is part b i think this is a part b and this is part a so for rod bc we know that the the force that is acting on the rod bc is only 30 kilo newton so here pbc which is equal to 30 kilo newton and area of bc it will be equal to pi by 4 d2 square now pi by 4 the area of bc is 30 millimeter so it will be 30 squares and it come out to be when you solve this this will give you 706.86 into 10 raised to power minus 3 square meter clear now this is very much simple now you have to find sigma bc which is equal to pbc over a b c so p b c is 30 kilo newton which is 10 30 into 10 raised to power 3 newton and area will be 706.86 into 10 raised to power minus 3 square meter so it will give you sigma b c will come out to be 42.4 4 into 10 raised to power 6 Pascal and when you further reduce it it will be 42.4 mega Pascal Sigma BC so we we find both the stresses the result of the result is stress average stress in Rod AB is 35.7 megapascal according to the data and stress in midsection of BC is 42.4 megapascal. So we have find the solution of this problem. If you have any question you can ask in comment section. Thank you.